So it's been almost two weeks since I last mowed my lawn and it's gotten pretty overgrown and in some areas I measured seven inches of length. That's, that's pretty tall. Um, I, I definitely need to get out and cut it today. I've just been really busy. Um, life happens sometimes, you know, you go on vacation or um, there's a lot of rain or you just don't have time to get to it. And I get that because that's exactly what I've been dealing with. So it's overgrown and I'm going to cut it, but I'm going to cut it differently than I normally do. Um, I'm going to do a double cut today and I want to show you how I do my double cuts because I still like to mulch. I still want to mulch this up. So what I'm going to do is cut it once with a side discharge and it's going to be a mess, guaranteed. It's going to be a mess and then I'm going to go over it again in mulching mode and just mulch everything up and it's going to look super clean, super crisp. Um, the grass is a little damp this morning. Uh, I think it did rain a little bit last night. Uh, but there isn't any dew on the blades or anything like that, so I think it should be okay. And I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. So after I finish that cut, I'm going to go ahead and just um, use my spreader that I just fixed up and go ahead and take care of the slugs that I have. I'm going to use some slug killer and uh, then after that I'm going to do an application of dethatch and just kind of help break everything down a little bit faster. We've had warmer weather so I think the dethatch will do a good job. But as you can see, I'm recovering really nicely from the heat stress and the lack of coverage I was getting and the lack of water I was getting. If you missed that video, I wasn't watering enough. Um, you will notice quite a big difference in the backyard here. I think it looks much, much better right, right where I want it um, for high 90s, even almost 100 degree heat. I'll take it. So with that, let's go ahead and get to work. There's a lot to do today. Let's do it. So from a distance it looks pretty good after that first cut with just the side discharge. But when you come in closer you'll see that there's a lot of leftovers clumped up here. And we don't want that because if you leave that on top of the grass then all the blades underneath aren't going to be able to absorb as much sunlight as normal. You might have watering issues and this is too long. This is just way too long of clippings. They need to be broken down more, which is why I'm going to do a second pass in mulching mode to break these down and return them back to the soil, return all the nutrients down there and clean this up and it will look way, way nice. You'll see. Another benefit of doing this is you get to kick some of the clippings over into the trees. And so this magnolia tree is getting a little top dressing of grass clippings and those will break down over time and any nutrients and nitrogen in there will be returned to that tree. Just make sure that you uh, dust off your flowers, your uh, annuals here, because those grass clippings aren't as pretty on top of the flowers. It looks super messy, so don't want 
the wife to get mad at me either. So we're gonna just clean those off real quick as well. So on that first cut that I just finished, I just wanted to make clear, um, in case you didn't notice, you can go back and watch, but I started on the outside and made sure that the, the discharge was going into the yard as much as possible. So start on the outside, work your way in, and then anything that's left over, like I just showed you, I'm gonna go over in mulching mode and you can go in any pattern you want for mulching mode. Okay, that's really it. It looks much, much better. I'm so happy with the way it turns out after I do that. It's definitely worth the little bit of extra time that I put in there to clean up those clippings from the side discharge, mulch them up, chop them up a little bit more, and it turns out great. Um, after edging and cleaning up the sidewalks with the leaf blower, it just looks prime right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the backyard and then I'll apply an application of dethatch and get my um, slug treatment down and we'll call it a day. Just remember when you're cutting like that and you're taking off that much at a time, that's not something that you want to become a habit. This is more of just a tip to explain what you can do, something that you can try um, once every so often, you know, if, if you come back from a long vacation and your grass is overgrown or if the weather hasn't been cooperating and you just can't get outside for a while, this is, this is something to do, just a strategy to take when, it's, when you have to just bite the bullet and cut it down a lot at a time like that. So keep that in mind. We always want to keep with the one third rule, which is why I'm always cutting twice a week. I just haven't been able to get out here and this is the strategy I like to use when I have to cut off that much grass. Okay, so I am now going to try out the spreader for the first time since I gave it a little TLC. So what I'm going to try this out with and see how it goes, I'm going to put down some slug killer because I've got some slugs. I'm also going to use this insect killer because I have grasshoppers and I still have a little bit of sod webworm left over. Uh, this is uh, just another bifenthrin product here. Active ingredient is bifenthrin. And so we're gonna apply at uh, two and a half pounds per thousand. Good, so we're gonna get this down and then we'll go ahead and do the dethatch. Okay, that's gonna go ahead and do it for me today. It was a lot of work and it is hot. So I'm anxious to get inside, cool off, and enjoy the rest of the day. But yard looks great. Um, I think the dethatch is really gonna help break down any thatch material that's already in the soil. Um, it's also gonna help break down those extra grass clippings that I um, mowed this morning with that double cut. So that's gonna help out 
and break everything down, return it to the soil, get those nutrients locked in there. So with that, that's gonna do it for me today. I'm gonna go inside and cool off. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.